Thanks for joining me. My name is Rose Peter Graham, and thanks for following my coverage of the Chatham House event. Today, the 5th of December 2022, the presidential candidate of the APC just had a, a good session here, and a lot of his supporters have been present. I have with me here my colleague and friend, Priscilla. How are you doing? Rose and Thank you for having me. Okay, so we were in there, yes, we, were. we heard the Ashua just speaking, mm -hmm. you asked a very, very important question, a lot of people will call it important, I would say a very serious question, because after you asked that question, there was silence in the room, you could hear the pin drop, and you know, some were happy, some were upset, the Ashua Jibola met Tunubu, took his time, to address the question, and that was the last question he, he, he answered. Had, he answered. Yes, yeah. yes, but before we come to that, mm. I would want you to tell me first. That is also going to be the last issue we are going to address today. <laughs> You're laughing. Yeah, that's going to be the last issue we're going to address. But first, you tell me, what was his body language like hey, when he was speaking? Hey, what would you say about him generally? Okay, so let me say this. When I got to the and to attend, I was I was excited. Yes. And my main focus was I wanted I needed to see him come. Yes. I needed to see um, his, how he's going to present himself, how he will hold himself up, and so on and so forth. So I was really glad. Um, I, I, I am really glad that I had the opportunity, yes. one of the few, to be able to sit inside and you know see it for myself. So um, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought his body language was good. Um, he was able to present his speech, which um, he did very well. Um, I thought it lacked content. They, he talked a lot about the problems, but yes. didn't address. He just, it was just a um, want um, of a better expression, platitudes of we will fix it. How? There was no how. The how of how he was going to address the various issues he mentioned were lacking. Okay. Yes, but his speech was great. He held himself up well. And, you know, I, I thought it was great. But I didn't agree with, um, as I addressed in part of my question, I didn't agree with passing every question was directed to his team member. Yes. Yes, he is Mr. Inclusive. Yes, he, you know, you can see that he, he works with a team and he likes to do that. And he wants to but like I said in there, he is, he is to be, if voted in, the president of Nigeria, the post of chief. His team members are not running for this office. And it is he that Nigerians are interested in communicating with, in hearing from, in engaging with, just as his fellow candidates are doing. So it's insufficient, from my standpoint, for him to say, oh, so and so. so would, would you not want to see this like him coming with something different and letting you know that even if I'm not fully or physically or able, or maybe to just give Nigerians the, the idea that I am not working alone, I'm working with Nigeria, I'm working with a brilliant team who can carry on. If I can do much, they will be able to do I just want you to know that's, that that's I am working with the that, best man. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Excuse me. Thank you. Please. Sorry. Sorry. We're having a record. Thank that's, you. That's great. Yes. But, um, you it, know, yeah. Yeah. that's great. But the thing is, he's not in office yet. Yes. If he told us that once he was in office and we saw his brilliant team, yes, we were coming. It's great. But right now, he's campaigning, he's candidate Vola Amitou. Yes. He's not President Vola Amitou. As at the point where he is President Vola Amitou, we will not be able to resist whoever his team members are. If he says, speak to so-and-so, that is what happens. But as candidate Vola Amitou, we don't have to. Okay. okay, that's good. And you know, it's his response to diaspora voting. What's your take on it? You see, the thing is, he, again, I think we just wanted to please us. The diaspora voting situation is a constitutional matter. And as president, we 
truth drives it, then it will be feasible possible. I've asked this question to um, um, Obasanjo himself, and he was the one that first let me know that it is a constitutional matter that needs to come before the House, and the House needs to be able to amend the Constitution. So, in as much as we're all going up and down, shouting, screaming, we're demanding, we're wanting that for our voting. If we cannot get that matter passed through the House, it's not going to happen. So then saying that, oh, our electoral process is, uh, is not at that point where we start, we can begin to be Jet yeah. Um, it's not sufficient. Why? Because year after year we hear of just the, the magnitude of the budget that INEC gets. So it's inexcusable to tell us that INEC is not, we cannot, um, it's still not giving one. I can't wait for um, I, I, I feel I feel it's actually um, necessary to direct it to INEC. No, 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 it's a constitutional matter. So whether if you don't change the law, INEC can never do it. INEC will tell you that you can't do anything about it because they haven't told us from, from the, the National Assembly that it's part of the law. Yes. So until they do that, if they make the law, then INEC will proceed accordingly in their system to make it. Okay, so don't mind the noise at the background. Because those are the supporters of the APC. Um, we are outside the Chatham House. and. Um, the APC candidates just addressed the world on his plans for economic and um, security in Nigeria. I felt you said he, he talked about the problems. He was beating his chest that he is going to be the next president. What, what do you think about the confidence he was displaying today? I mean, Muhammad Ali had a lot of confidence. It's good to have confidence, but you know, the voting story is he said, give me your mandate and I will deliver. Do you feel that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the kind of man who will deliver as a president? Um, I mean, there's no doubt that he will deliver something. As to whether or not he will deliver what Nigerians are seeking, that's a different matter. Um, saying, give me your, your vote and I will deliver, is still until we see the show working as it were. We see him in action and we see how he's doing that. It's, it's not enough to just say it. We, have, we need to see it. Okay, so now let us address the elephant in the room, Priscilla. You put this big question, questions as a matter of fact, a string of them to Mr. Bola Ahmed. He was quiet. His supporters were obviously not happy because the room was quiet. When you were done asking this question, you sat down and we could hear a pin I mean, we were, drop. We were interacting. And yes. that was nice that we were able to interact. <laughs> and he even called your day. Everybody called and, my name. Uh, so <laughs> he called your day, so which was pretty good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now tell me what what does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Let, Let me tell you something. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the personal interaction oh, yes. that transpired. So that was really nice. Okay. Um, I was I wasn't expecting that, but yes. I'm glad that now he knows my name. Okay. Now he remembers my name. Yes. And a lot of the people around him already knew my name. They've been reminded of my name, which is okay. okay. Um, but that question had to be asked because it's like there's a big, huge elephant in the room. So now the question. The yeah. question is. Hold on. So, so my issue was it was this. It was twofold. Yes. <clears throat> the first thing was. Every question he was asking was directing members of his team to respond. Yes. And I didn't like that. So I simply, my, my, then I said to him, listen. And, and he, he told us right at the very beginning that he was a team player. And because of that, he was then delegating to his team to answer questions. Fair enough. So I then said to him, sir, what I was trying to say is we appreciate that you're a team player. We know that you are very interested because in Lagos you had people who were from other states as members of the family. Fantastic. That's where I was driving at. But here we are now. You are the one running for office. It is you who want to hear from, not your team members. So if you don't mind, could you answer the question? When are you going to have a one-on-one -on -one interview? When are you going to, you know, get on get on with the, the town hall? That was slipped my mind at that moment. I needed yes. it. Yeah, the town hall. Uh, you when are you going to engage with Nigerians? So that was one part. And then I said to him, you know, there's a big massive elephant in the room, you know, there are issues abounds about your age and various other things. And I was just wondering if you could provide some clarity. Tell me, uh -huh. he responded. He left that question to the very, to the very end. last, yeah. So, and I love and the then... fact that he took his time. Yes, and mm. then he took his time to respond when he was born and blah, blah, blah. 
But you tell me. That satisfy your question. Listen, his response, let me his tell response you something. Okay. His response, whether it's okay or not, I don't know the context. I, I'm not as old as he is, so I cannot tell you, um, yay or otherwise, as okay. to whether he told the truth. One yes. thing I can say is that I appreciated the fact that he took time to respond. He has responded to the question now. It is now up to those who say that he's lying or who say it's not so to further prove their point. I am not one that is saying so, but these things are there and they need to be addressed. It was important and in the interest of this election, in the interest of the nation, that he addresses it and he addresses it well. So that's, that's what I want. And you know something, the two of you almost got personal. No, we were, we were good. We the, were moment, good. the moment we put, we're, we're proceeding and we got personal with Bola Ahmed. No, no, I said, hey, on we the should, now we're going to do it one to on one. <laughs> At the and point then, he said, he claims, yes, that I want to use him to make money. That was that was his when he said, Who you want to, no, no, he said, you want to use me to make and money. And I, I know, and I say no. Yeah. This way is good. I, I want know. to use yeah, him to make a money. That's a clever way to yes. not submit to the one to one. But come on, you're going to pay for me for, for me to be. And then he said, yeah. he said he knows his what? He oh. is big. Oh, please. Give the and then you want to use him to make money. I'll give the planet a break. I don't want to, who's going to buy that from me? I ask. Are you sure people are not going to want to see your one-on-one? -on -one? No, people would want to see it, but not yes. pay for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're not, I mean, when he's saying I'm going to use him to make money, how is that going to happen? How is Pusna going to use to them to make money? Let's that is the question. question. Let him tell us. He needs to come that and tell us. Because question. I don't know anybody that's going to want to buy that. Um, not now anyway. But mind you, you never know. Subject to what happens, yes. you just don't know the future. Tomorrow somebody could ask for that footage and the footage yes. will make sense. But yes. right now, I can't see. It's not, it's not, um, I'm not trying to use it to make money. But, I just want clarity. But this is an, actually a good development in the argument, in the debate, Absolutely. in the campaign. Hey, yeah, absolutely, because in effect, I took him to task. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I took him to task. So then he would know that it's not just your supporters who are in here. There are Nigerians who are wondering about your age, your identity, everything else that's bringing up. It was absolutely important for him to address those issues. And I am glad that he did. Because having done so now, you know, whoever has had a problem with that, take it out. Do you understand? The man has spoken on the matter. He said it was 1952. Yes, that that's what when they said. Yeah. He says he's also a teenage boy. He's a You know? I can't. I personally cannot argue with that. Because I don't know. <laughs> when a man comes out, this is chess and says that know. boldly in public. So I am not arguing with that. Right? My job was to put the question to him for yes. him to provide clarity. And I believe yes. in that respect, my job is done. Definitely. Oh yeah. Definitely. Um, my job is done. I addressed the issue. So I, I did my bit. Everything else is, is done. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much, Priscilla, for Always this. Always a pleasure. And for us, like, looking at this issue, I mean, it's present here today and it's delivery to Nigerians and I think that was really good. No, he did well. I can't I take think, that I know, from I think him. he did I think well. overall, he did yeah. well. He did yes. well. And then for a moment, I'm like, are you Nigerians the ones stressing to Numbu for heaven's sake? That is why all those mistakes were coming up because he was really calm. Well, he, he had did. said, I did see a video of him saying they dealt with him on social media. So that's why he ran away from social media. Are you the one stressing to Numbu? Because looking at him here today, he was really calm. And he gave a really beautiful delivery. I mean, that's good. Yeah. That is good. Well, we so, wish him the best, we as do, we do to we all do. the other candidates. Yes, yeah. I would just want to be here and wearing this in the, in the cold because it's very cold, cold it's today. Cold, yeah. Yes, we want to come back home and enjoy the sun. And we will continue to bring you um, the yes. various candidates um, when they come here, whenever we come here. <laughs> We'll let you guys know. And they do love oh, coming here, don't they? Yes. They do love coming Don't worry. <laughs> We're on the job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Thanks for watching. My name is Rose Peter Graham. Pleasure. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.